All right, so another quick uh, question and answer video. How do you recommend learning C? Um, my current recommendation is by getting a book called Head for C. I'll go see if I can show it to you. Um, and we've had people that know C really well uh, kind of evaluate this book. We went through it last year. Um, Zero dollars for the paperback. I don't believe that for a second. Um, it's a fun book. It has uh, a few problems in it. But people who do C coding have confirmed that it's actually pretty good for absolute beginners. I prefer the mnemonic, brain-friendly, silly approach to C coding than the really dry, you know, KNRC book. Um, so that is my recommendation. Just get that book and work through it. Um, it doesn't come with a lot of answers. If you if you want to do that, um, in fact, I should probably put it on the calendar. We will be doing C in December so it's kind of a Christmas tradition C for Christmas um, and I I want to say wait, what um, let's see so December we're out the week of Christmas so so this will be the week of C um, yeah so this is this is going to be C coding. I don't I don't know if we're going to do it all in one day. Uh, we'll probably do a little bit every day, uh, and I'll just I'll just put it here. So uh, head first C. So this this is I mean I talked about I promised that I was going to do Haskell and, and Christmas, and I actually think it's more important that we learn C um, because it's it's just so much more important than Haskell. Honestly, Haskell is cool. Erlang is really cool. I wanted to learn Erlang. That was the one. Um, but every year, I feel like it's really important that you go back through C and you review it and you, you learn about it because it informs everything else that you do related to the computer. So that's my recommendation. Uh, get it and, you know, start writing C in it. Um, if you want another book, there's another book called um, Mastering Algorithms in C, which I've started to work through. And I just really, really love the style of it. It's not really... Uh, it's not really overly dense. Uh, it is uh, dated, but it's you know it's C, so it's still really relevant. I just absolutely love Kyle Ludon's style. Um, I've recommended this to other people, and they've come back saying, "Oh my God, it's the greatest book! is so amazing." Uh, Kyle was an astronomer and a, a coder for a, um, with a very practical experience, and uh, approaches this this whole thing from a, a very very practical perspective, and pretty much throws out all of the bombastic you know verbose extra stuff you'd find in a textbook so that is those are my two favorites i i do not pretend to be a c master at any level uh last year when i did the c i had people that were c masters here particularly vmt thank you for that um showing me you know how c actually works and the gotchas and things and uh you may be asking well why learn c so um the answer to that is so that you can understand all the other things, uh, particularly if you're if you think that you want to learn Rust, you know, C and Rust to go very good together. C and Go go very good together. In fact, I've heard Go described by Rob Pike as an easier C. I've heard the same thing about Rust. There's a safer C, right? Well, if you don't know C, then you, you don't know how to contrast it with these other languages. So learning C, even if you never code anything professionally in it, it's still valuable no matter what. It, C was invented to write Unix. That's right. And the first version of Unix was written in... Um, uh, the first version of Unix was written in assembly. And they're like, man, this is too crazy. We got to do something better. And they needed it really low level and really close to the hardware. It had ultimate control of every bit and everything. And and so they made C. They made C. Dennis Ritchie and the gang, they made they made C. Ken Thompson. Uh, and I still, I was just talking about this the other night. I think Dennis Ritchie is one of the most famous yet unsung heroes of our time. Uh, died the same week as Steve Jobs. Nobody knew. Uh, but everything you're using right now is written in C. Literally everything uh at some level including javascript so you know uh so anyway it is frustrating uh rust is can be frustrating uh, if you have to fight with the barrel checker but at least if you learn c you'll understand it do i think you should learn rust yes that's a different question um but i honestly i really really do think that you should learn c first 
so that when you learn Rust, you'll see how, you know, how awesome it is or where it lacks uh, uh, in, in other areas, you know, the pros and the cons. And, and there are. And you won't understand those until you understand C. So the best way to pick it up if you're an absolute noob and you just don't, you don't want academic speak too much of it is head first C, in my opinion. It's kind of fun. You write a game in there. You write an old school Asteroids game in there. Um, yeah, in C. And we never got to it last year, but, you know, uh, and then eventually, um, you know, you're going to uh, want to do something a little bit more probably. And maybe you want to do uh, algorithms, mastering algorithms to see. Now, why why would I do algorithms in C? Um, people are like, do I need to spend time learning data structures and algorithms? The answer is yes. Uh, maybe not early on in your programming, you know, path. I never did. I didn't go to computer science and I, maybe I'm a worse person for it, but I did eventually learn a lot of amazing things from the data structures and algorithms uh, book, but I learned them on my own when I needed them. And you're going to see me coding a lot of that today, actually, later on, I'm kind of a thing. I'm going to be coding uh, uh, a parser and a compiler uh, for a language called KegML using my other language that I wrote called Pegan. And I had to learn things like graph theory and, and you know, stacks and queues and all of these things. And I, I had to teach myself those things in order to do those things. Those are very you know, fundamental computer science concepts. Um, so, but mastering algorithms in C, you know, Kyle at the beginning of the book makes a case for having to have that and, and needing to know those things. Like it'll just make you, it'll just inform all of your other approaches to coding, even though you don't have to be able to spit it out in an elite code interview exam or something. It's more important that you know how these patterns can be applied uh, at a macro level. And one of the reasons I think that mastering algorithms in C is such a good thing, that C is a great language for this, is because C by default doesn't come with those things. And last time I said that, I had a lot of C coders say, oh yeah, sure it does. And it does if you have the right library. For example, a map, an associative array, right? Or, or even an array, period. <laughs> you know, they're totally different. There's no, there's not even strings. Technically speaking, technically speaking, C does not have strings. String has character arrays. So these things that we take for granted in these higher level languages don't exist in C, which makes C a really great language, in my opinion, for, you know, creating something that you actually have a chance of like maybe, now if you're writing your own bubble sort, uh, in any official capacity, you're probably doing it wrong because it's been written safer and better in another library. But it doesn't hurt for you to write it in C because you can, you can understand why, you know, why why it doesn't have it. So I I actually do think learning algorithms and data structures in C is a is a good thing. I think Go is probably the the next best thing to learn those kind of things. Uh, imagine this array of characters being a string exactly, um, and. So anyway, that's all I have to say about C. Uh, if you want to learn more about C with me and struggle and suffer and understand what the stack and the heap and the constant section are and why they're there. Uh, but by the way, the head first book is phenomenally good at illustrating that entire thing. I never fully understood that until I read that book. Uh, and I still I still feel like I'm missing things, but mostly because, you know, I have to go through it again every year because I forget. So that's what I think of C. 